Hello. Now we congress on the win. Uh, did you did you expect to to get the victory as Bruce Buffer was announced the, the split decision? Uh, to be honest, I'm usually pretty self-critical. I had a good feeling that I I felt I, I did the most control time against the cage. I knew it would be somewhat uh, um, tight, but, but I, I honestly felt like it was to my side. Not, not saying it was a decisive, you know, total victory, uh, Alvis, um, how do you pronounce his first name? Wally? Wally. One. Yeah. He was such a beast, so it's, it's, yeah. Were you afraid that, given the fact that you were fighting in Brazil, that they could swing this side, his side? I mean, that's probably the, the general consensus in, in, in media, but, but no, I feel this is my second time fighting in Brazil, and last time was a split decision for me as well, so I trust the, 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 the CAB MMA enough that they will, will judge the, the fights fairly. Mm -hmm. And now you're 4 0 against Brazil, it's 2 0. Is it sweeter to, to, to beat a Brazil, uh, a Brazilian in Brazil? Um, I mean, it's not fun for the crowd, and I want to please the crowd, but it's good for me. Um, no, it, no, to be honest, uh, the, I, I think the, 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 the popular thing would be to say, yeah, I love winning against Brazilians in Brazil, but no, you know, I, I like Brazil as a country, so I'd rather not fight against the countryman, but the effort stream in there was amazing, so I, I enjoyed that. There was a war in the, in the third round. Were you surprised that uh, he didn't go down? And how hurt were you when he was landing against it? To be honest, I wasn't that hurt when he hit me. It, I, I could feel that it looked incredible from the outside, but um, the best way I can describe it, some people they hit like a sledgehammer and some people hit like a whip. And, and Wally was more like a sledgehammer, so I definitely felt it, but it wasn't like, it wasn't uh, taking away my consciousness. I was still moving, I didn't feel my body twitch in weird ways that, that can happen sometimes, so he hit me, but I wasn't uh, affected by it. Since you came back to the UFC, you fought in Denmark, Abu Dhabi, Brazil, US, and London, uh, what's next for you? Do you plan on going on this world tour, or are you, uh, are you hoping to maybe get uh, maybe fighting towards home now? Well, it could be amazing if UFC came back to Copenhagen sometime soon, but I don't know how, uh, if that's going to happen or not. But yeah, it's, it's fun to travel the world for fighting. Like, it's what I dreamed of when I started doing karate when I was 15 years old, to make a living of traveling the world fighting. Uh, how incredible is that? Um, but yeah. It could be fun to go back in London, maybe, a couple of months ago. I just got some stitches, but once they're out, I, I think I could be ready to go, maybe. After this 15 minutes war, you're, you're good to go? I mean, I have some bruises. Don't get me wrong, it was a war, but uh, if, if it heals fast, maybe. Is there a name of someone you would like to fight next, maybe in London? <sighs> There's so many good names. I don't, I don't have one ready for you right now. That's a mistake on my part. I should have, but I don't. <laughs> Hola, buenas noches. Primero, no, no, si pueden traducirme ustedes mejor. <ríe> buenas noches, Nicolás. Eh, no sé bien qué respondieron en, en inglés, voy a preguntar en español. Eh, sabemos que era un rival bastante duro y lograste moverte toda la pelea para encontrar el juego. ¿Qué fue lo más difícil para vos de este contrincante? Um, I think it was, I was a bit unsure of how he would be in the cage because he's had a long break. If he was, if he was going to be firing on all cylinders and just ready to go, or maybe he would be really nervous because it's different for, for everyone. So I was expecting him to be as sharp as he possibly could. Um, but yeah, he was out with injuries, so you never quite know with a guy like that if he comes back and just, you know, at 100% or maybe um, not 100%. Thank you.
Davi, e a questão do, do clima, né? Você vem de um clima gelado, como é que foi essa adaptação? É, foi mais fácil, foi mais difícil para a luta? A questão do calor do Rio de Janeiro. Você veio de um país mais frio, foi mais difícil para adaptar a uma cidade como Rio? Não, foi incrível vir aqui. Honestamente, é um dia de chão no Denmark, é tão frio, é frio. It's windy, it's raining all the time, so coming here is uh, probably the best thing that happened to me uh, in a very long time. It's been very nice to be here. Describe walking out into the weigh-ins yesterday and let alone walking into the arena tonight. You know, have you ever experienced anything like that? Yeah, I think the last time I fought here in uh, Brazil in 2015, it was kind of a similar experience. Um, for me, let them boo all they want, I, it's energy for me. Of course, I appreciate it if they cheer for me, like they did in Copenhagen when I fought there. Uh, but it's energy and I suck it in and I use it and, and try and do my best in the fight. Could you feel them pulling for him during the fight and does that sort of drive you to, you know, kind of get that finish? Yeah, absolutely. Every time he tagged me, I heard a big roar in the crowd and every time I hit him pretty good, there was silence. So I'm happy the, the, the judges wasn't swayed by the, by the, the crowd. What was the game plan for him coming in here tonight? The game plan was to, um, we knew he was going to be very powerful, uh, very strong, explosive. So, I mean, you, you, you can never predict 100%, but we knew as the fight would go on, I would have a bigger and bigger advantage because my cardio was, I mean, my VO2 max is probably the highest in, in, in the UFC. Um, so we knew the longer the fight went, I'd have a bigger advantage. Uh, so clinch was was a part of the game plan to, to to try and let him work a lot for not a lot um, and maybe tie him out in the clinch and it seems like it it it, it, uh, it worked pretty well and i know the fight just happened it's hard to think about what just happened out there, but when you go back from this are there things that you've already you know noted that you want to try to work on because of what happened in the fight tonight yeah absolutely i didn't feel like i was 100 percent on point for the fight today um I felt a bit, yeah, not 100%, I wasn't in a flow state, so uh, I think there's some, uh, some uh, mental things and, and, and technical things I can go back and work on, for sure. Congrats. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.